Oh, I never thought we were going to make it back. You're right. Yeah, of course I am. We're travelling. Yeah, I'm only three months pregnant. Yeah, but you've got to be careful though, Tiff. Right, can you come home then? Uh, I think I'll walk Sarah back. Oh, that's lovely of you. Dad would probably be worried about her. You did fan him though, didn't you? Oh, yeah, but you know how he gets. Has to make a drama out of a crisis. All right, I'll see you later. Yeah, see ya. Mm. I'll take your bags if you like. That's all right. I can manage. Okay. Anyone fancy coming to the cafe for a bit of breakfast? Well, I'll leave it out. So, you're right then. Don't worry, I won't tell him. Dad, that is why you want to talk me home, isn't it? Make sure I didn't say anything. Are you really going to give up dealing then? Yeah. And support Tiffany? Yeah. I'm really proud of you. I'm just sorry about what Dan did, you know? Well, it had to happen for you to see the light and get away from him. Divine intervention, was it? Something like that. All right, Tony? Oh, All yeah. right. Just got back. Yeah, I'm starving. Make us bacon, Sonia. Yeah. There, uh, someone over there's been asking for Simon. Hey? Yeah, he's been in there all night, waiting for him. You been looking for Simon? Yeah. He's not here, he's gone to bed. Howard? What are you doing here? Yeah, you're the bloke who not... wanted to say I'm sorry. I came around to the flat last night, but you weren't back. Uh, no, the coach broke down. I wanted to apologise to you and Tiffany. Sure, mate. Yeah, no thanks to you. And the baby? The baby's fine. Is it okay if I go around there and apologise in person? I don't think that's a very good idea. She'll be asleep. Besides, you've upset her enough. Look, do you think we could talk in private? Well, um... I'll leave you two to it. Uh, no, Tony. Don't go. You can, uh... Say whatever you want in front of him. I wanted to tell you that I've accepted a job in Sheffield. I was going to ask you whether you fancy coming along. Making another go of it. But things have obviously changed for you. Well. I better get going. I haven't finished packing yet. See ya. Look, uh, thanks for staying. That's all right. Oh, blimey, what time is it? 4.30. 4.30? Oh, been dead to the world. Yep. You were cuddling me. Was I? Mmm, you wouldn't let go. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's nice, I liked it. Listen, um... Don't worry about not working for a bit. Because if we get that stuck, I can always ask Peggy for some extra shifts. Do you want a cup of tea before I go? Nah, it's all right. I'll see him a bit later, yeah? All right. See ya. Oh! Tony told me about you and Howard. Good news. Beer's on me later. Right, I'm off. You two behave yourselves. Look, um... About earlier with Howard, I uh, just wanted to say thanks for backing me up. I know it couldn't have been easy for you. <sighs> Not the best of times, eh? It's okay, forget it. <sighs> We've got to talk sometime, Tony. You can't go on living a lie. I don't know what you mean. It's you that can't face facts. I've got to go and sit and meet Tiffany. Look, I know how you feel. I know how hard it is coming out. You you're confused. You're all bewildered. But you've got to confront it, Tony. For your sake. And for Tiffany's. Nothing happened. I was drunk. <sighs> that wasn't alcohol talking, Tony. You were serious. Why can't you just get off my back, Simon? Oh, I knew you'd do this. How would you feel if I'd made a pass at you and then denied it? I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. Me too. <sighs> you really took me in. You made me believe you. We kissed. You're my sister's boyfriend. How do you think I feel? You've got to stop messing people about, Tony. You've got to make a decision and stick to it. I know. Look, I like you, Tony. I like you a lot. But I love Tiffany and I don't want to see her get hurt. <laughs> don't have to listen to this. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Hello. Hello. Missed you. I haven't even gone a couple of hours. Tony, in a minute. Look, I'm sorry I've been quiet since Blackpool. 
I'm not always very good at showing my feelings, you know. Please. I was a bit stunned when you told me. I couldn't quite get my head round it. But now I have. And I just want you to know how glad I am that you're keeping the baby. And that you want us to stay together. I'm going to get a job. I'm going to support you. And I'm going to try and be a really good dad. Well, it's been the most romantic moment of my life, it will do. <laughs> oh, look, ain't lovely? Yeah, lovely. What are you doing up? You're supposed to be in bed. I didn't know where you were. Is that for me? Happy birthday. Mm. Thank you. Flowers and all, what can I say? <laughs> Since you're up, you might as well have your prezzy. Oh. Happy birthday, Tiffin. Sorry I haven't got your card yet. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, you shouldn't have. Okay, then. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. You like it, don't you? Yeah. I've asked a few people over tonight. Just a few drinks, nothing special. Was that okay? Yeah, why not? Well, it's your night off. Got to have a bit of a birthday bash, eh? That's what I like to hear. Sarah said she enjoyed herself. Told me all about it. Ah, Simon, all right? Not bad, thanks. That was Blackpool. Break a few hearts, did you? I know what goes on. I've been on a few holidays like that myself. <laughs> oh, right. Thought you were going. You haven't come round to talk to me about Blackpool, have you, Dad? No. Sarah told me. Giving up dealing. Yeah, that's right. Glad you've done the right thing. Glad you've seen sense at last. No, I'm feeling eh, son? It's going to be different from now on, Dad. It's not just me to think about anymore. Me and Tiffany, we're going to keep the baby. Great, innit? I get a night off work and I still end up serving drinks. It's called a busman's holiday. Busman's don't call pints, though, do they? Oh, cheers, Tiff. How are you going to open your present, Ben? I'll um, open it if you like. Oh, yeah, hands off! Yeah, leave it alone. There's little enough excitement in the life, is it? Yeah. There you go. This is better. I know. I asked for lager. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Don't you listen to anything I ever say? Oh, yeah. Tony, if you're that desperate for lager, there's some in the kitchen. Right, I'm going to open the present. Look! Well, they're nice! Oh, You've got to sort yourself out, Tony. <laughs> Mate, there's nothing that's all out. Oh, come on, we both know. I'm fine. Do you think Tiffany's not going to notice it? The way you're talking to me, the way you're treating me like some sort of low life. Talk to somebody, Tony. Don't bottle it up. But don't take it out on me. Just leave me alone. I'm worried. Well, don't be. Whatever you think, there's nothing to worry about. I was drunk the other night in Blackpool. A bit out of it. You kissed me, I couldn't help that. What? But I'm sober now and it's okay. I don't hold it against you, but I'm not interested, all right? That's not what happened. Look, just forget it. Don't you remember it made the first move? Because I do. Tony! Yeah, I remember it very well. I don't understand, man. We were raking it in. It was great business. What's the matter with me? What happened to you? Why'd you come here, Dan? It's Tiffany's birthday. No, you didn't mean what you said the other day. I know you didn't. So just forget about it and get back out there, yeah? I'm not interested. This is your last chance, Tom. No! I don't believe you. You're such a loser. Bye, Dan. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Out! Get out! Oh, I'm not hiding. Just felt a bit stupid after all that with Dan, you know? I'm oh, daft. your birthday, though, didn't I? No, you haven't. Know, it's been great. Listen, Tony, can I ask you something? Yeah? You don't think you've made a mistake. I mean, you do think you've done the right thing by cutting yourself off from Dan, don't you? Tiff, I don't regret it for one minute. I want us to have a good life together. Dan, the dealing, it's all over. You're the most important thing now. I want to be here for you. Everything's going to go right this time. This time? Simon told me about your... Well, losing the baby. What? What's he saying to you? You had a fall. That won't happen this time. I'm going to look after you. I'm going to be here for you. I can't cope on my own, you know. I've done it on my life. I know. I just don't want you to have a hard time anymore. Look, I don't want you feeling sorry for me. I could do without that. Is that why you're staying with me? I don't feel sorry for you. I love you.
Once during the night, when asked about the thing, that it is the main they just put up with it. Morning. It's uh, just boiled. You had the rest of this? Uh, yeah. What we got to do? Put a lock on it? There's more in there. I got it yesterday. I don't care. This is our stuff. Me and Tim. But what difference does it make you bought it? As much as you might like it, we're not one big happy family. So keep your hands off, all right? I can't believe you're being like this. Tony, we've got to sort this out. Sort what out? Us. There's nothing to sort out. Me and Tiff are having a baby. We're very happy together. And what about what happened? Nothing happened. Nothing important. You're just overreacting. Oh, so, uh, you're okay about it? I'm fine. Then why are you giving me such a hard time? Because you keep on getting in the way, that's why. Oh, I see. Well, uh... Maybe I should just move out. Sounds good to me. Is this down to you? Is what down to me? Simon says he's moving out. It's up to him, isn't it? What have you got against him? Look, I'm not forcing him out, all right? Look, Tony's right. It's uh, just time to move on. But I don't want you to move on. I love having you around. Yeah, well, it was only ever meant to be a short-term thing. Yeah, but where are you going to go, Abby? You haven't got a job or anything. You may as well be here with us. No, look, um, I want to go. No, you don't. He's pushing you out. No, really. Look, now Howard's out of the picture, I can start building a new life for myself. So, I mean, you're just going to get yourself in a mess again. <sighs> I'm not. Look, I've got this mate in Manchester I might go and stay with him for a while. I wanted you to be here when the baby came. I'll visit. It's not the same, is it? So, you're really going then? Yep. That's what you wanted, innit? Not particularly, no. But it didn't sound like that earlier. Look, uh, why don't you come over to Vic and have a goodbye drink with me and Tiff? Nothing. Oh, come on, look, I'm not gonna make you talk about anything if you don't want to. Look, I said no, all right? See yourself. I hope you know what you're doing. What are you doing? Well, uh, I'm going. Miss your last train? No, I've got 20 minutes yet. You won't make that. Well, I'll get a cab. You'll be lucky. Yeah, well, if I miss it, I'll just have to sleep on the station and get the milk train, won't I? Simon. What? <sighs> Look, Tony, I've got to go. Don't. What? Don't go. Why not? Because I don't want you to. Look, me staying isn't going to solve the problem. You've got to face up to things. Be straight with Tiff. I can't. Why not? What are you so afraid of? Look, part of me just wants a normal life. Tiff, the baby. Oh, yeah, and that's all, is it? You know it ain't. Well, then that's what you've got to deal with. There's nothing wrong in finding another bloke attractive. What, even if they're your girlfriend's brother? I thought you were gonna stay. I can't. Why? I just can't. Simon. Look, just let me go, okay? I don't want to. I, I just don't want to. Look, it was you that told me to be honest about the way I felt. Yeah, well, it don't matter. Tiffany's my sister. I love her. What about me, Simon? <sighs> Tony, I... Just tell me if you feel the same way as I do. Look, I can't. Please, just tell me. I feel the same. Look, you should have told me. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't think you'd be interested. All right?